Hey y'all, happy Monday. I am so excited about what we're gonna dig into this week. I think it is a right now word for me and I pray that it is for you as well. We're gonna dig into some good stuff and um, just pray that Holy Spirit reveal the heart of the Father to us as we um, spend time in his word, right? Okay, so Psalm 1, still in Psalm 1, there's just, there's always more, there's always a new layer. Um, we're in Psalm 1, 3, and we're moving to the second part of Psalm 1, 3. So Psalm 1, 3 says, And he shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. So this week, we are looking at its leaf shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. And we'll see just how far in that we get. Um, its leaf will not fade or wither. Things that you think of when you see those beautiful green leaves, right? That vibrant color, all oh, that tree is doing so well. The shade that it provides, you know, we've talked about my pecan tree in the backyard, how it is my favorite place, <laughs> my favorite tree in the whole wide world. And it shades our entire backyard. Those big, beautiful, vibrant green leaves give shade to our entire yard. So um, let's define a couple of words, wither and fade. So wither means to be exhausted, tired, to dry out, to lose vitality, force, or freshness. With dry out, it draws up or to withdraw. Um, and vitality, of course, is life. So to wither, to be exhausted, tired, draw up, dry out, lose vitality, or to lose life, force, or freshness. And to fade means to lose freshness, to lose strength, to lose vitality. What is so wonderful about what we've been talking about is that the life of the blessed one, his leaf shall not fade or wither. In the midst of the busy season, the most drawing season, because right now when the leaves are green, it's the season of growth. The growth is seen on the outside. It's the season for producing. If you have fruit trees or nut trees, again like the pecan tree, this is the season where it is growing for the harvest. It's growing for growing the fruit producing it is actually producing that which is to be used or consumed and so it is a very um taxing time so in relation to us this busy season this time where we are producing and we are growing and we are developing and we are pouring into other people um you just think about the busiest season what's required of you okay and this is not the harvest because in the harvest really for the tree the work is done the pecans are there the peaches are there the apples are there they're grown they're being picked and so it's almost like you can take a breath but in the growing season in the producing season your leaf which shows us vitality, right? We're going to talk about those leaves tomorrow, but your leaf will not fade or wither. You will not be exhausted. You will not be tired or lose freshness or strength or vitality. These are the characteristics of the blessed one. The blessed one, just as a recap to end today, is the one who 
finds his delight and desire in the law of the Lord. And on his law, his precepts, instructions, and teachings of God, he habitually ponders and studies by day and by night. That one will not fade or wither. And we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.